Now to our exclusive report. HHS-TV has confirmed that Harriton administrators directed student council to change Mr. Harriton's name. The new name would be gender nonspecific. Harriton administrators hope this will lead to the competition being more gender inclusive. This, according to multiple sources in council and the Harriton administrators. According to a student council officer, administrators initially began discussing this change three months ago. Mr. Harriton is our school's most prominent tradition, fundraiser, and event. According to Mr. Ferguson, although the decision is not yet final, Harriton administrators have yet to hear any compelling arguments against the change. Mr. Harriton was created in 2007 with the intent to ironically parody female beauty pageants. Harriton TV producer Sam Catania has been leading our reporting effort on this subject along with our entire team. We go live to him in the control room with details. Thanks, Emily. We've now learned that girls have actually always been able to compete in Mr. Harriton. According to an email sent out by Ms. Marcusen on Thursday, uh, Tuesday, I'm sorry, all juniors and seniors are allowed to compete regardless of gender. But in the competition's 11 years of existence, no girl has ever competed. Administrators believe the name acts as a deterrent to females who may wish to try out, according to a council spokesperson. Initial, by the re uh, initial reactions by many students to the change have been negative. We talked to one of the presidents of Harriton's Gender Sexuality Alliance to get their view on the changes. Lindsay Sayer has been co-president of the Gender and Sexuality Alliance, GSA, for the past three years. She is opposed to the change because she believes females should not be allowed to compete in the competition in the first place. She said Mr. Harriton isn't like a typical talent show. Quote, it's supposed to make fun of beauty pageants. If people who could legitimately be in beauty pageants were in the show, then the whole narrative would be lost. She added that she doesn't believe the show is excluding any specific group. National legislation known as Title IX guarantees that all genders are allowed to compete in events like Mr. Harriton. However, the regulation does not guarantee that a school must promote that fact, nor that they must fill specific gender-based quotas. According to a council officer who wished not to be named for this story, all five student council officers oppose the proposed changes. Harriton TV has not independently confirmed the opinions of every officer. Within three months of receiving the directive to change the show's name, at least one of the officers formally met with administrators to discuss the change. They told us that they and the other officers are working to keep the culture of the event alive while also increasing its inclusivity. According to Mr. Ferguson, LMSD will be bringing in a gender specialist from the University of Pennsylvania to help facilitate conversations surrounding the name change. The change came with the support of Assistant Superintendent and former Harriton Principal Dr. Eveslog, who has pushed for Mr. Harriton to change names for years, according to sources. Dr. Eveslog could not be reached for comment. The event has become a cornerstone of school spirit and culture at Harriton High School, according to a former student, quote, Harriton has very few traditions that have lasted since the school moved into its new building, he said. Certainly, of the few that have remained, Mr. Harriton is the most prominent. Changing the title of the show could be seen as jeopardizing the show's connection with the past and blurring its original anti-misogynistic message. Uh, blurring the original anti-misogynistic uh, message. I'm sorry. Lindsay, could you hold this, please? Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, all right, blurring the uh, original anti-misogynistic message it carried. Uh, that's all I have on the story for now. Reporting from the control room, I am Sam Catania. Now back to the news desk. Thanks, Sam. Mr. Ferguson directed Harriton TV members to Principal Mr. Weinstein and Assistant Superintendent Dr. Eveslog for more information. Mr. Weinstein gave similar remarks to Mr. Ferguson. Harriton TV will keep you up to date on social media and the latest regarding this story. In just an hour or so, we will have an article posted to the Harriton TV Facebook page with additional information. Sam will be interviewing Mr. Weinstein this afternoon. Again, we have all this information on our social media channels. 